Our story starts in the zone. Chernobyl, 2012. We follow our protagonist in a death truck full of unconscious people and people with worse things. Is that me or who is that? Man, I don't want to be there. Take me home, get me out of this place. That looks like a horrible job. Oh, what the hell? Our protagonist is being driven out of the zone, but fate has other plans. God, that's a horrible job. The next day, a random stalker is scavenging the zone, looking for valuable loot. He stumbles onto the death truck, and after observing the carnage, decides to investigate. Well, he's not alive. It looks like that guy's not either. And I believe this guy won't be either. Oh, he's awake! Seems to be alive. What a lucky guy. At least death would have saved him from the dreams. Let's go and see what value Sidorovich will put on your head. What? No, leave me alone! Put me down! I have no value! I'm better off here! We are taken to Sidorovich, a well-known trader at the outpost who is surprised by the news. Can I get a piece of chicken? What have you got? A body. It came from the death truck. It's got the mark. Well, you know the drill. Leave him on this the... This is a live one. Bullshit. You are lying. Let the zone take me if I am. Put it here. No, I'm dead. I'm not alive at all. Leave me alone, please. Don't touch me. Hey, that's mine. Who the hell's Trellock? I think... For this one, I can give you. Oh! Wait, I want to know my value. How much do I cost? No! The Stalker! Sedrovich helps us recuperate, but we don't remember who the Strelok is due to our amnesia. Sedrovich offers us information in exchange for helping him out with some special errands. You do some job for me, and we're even. Besides, keeping you busy might be a good way to deal with your amnesia. And I'll see what I can find out about your problem. Sidrovich asks us to look for Nimble, a stalker who has important information that went missing recently. Got a job for you, Marked One. I want you to find a stalker called Nimble. He was carrying some very important information. He disappeared somewhere near the bridge. Find him. Dead or alive, I don't care. I need the flash drive with the info. We meet up with Wolf, who provides us with our first pistol, and lets the squad further up ahead know that the marked one is on his way. Guys, I'm sending someone your way, so wing it. You may attack if necessary. Over. All right, Wolf, send him in. As long as he stays out of the way. Out. And here we go to the zone. Let's see what Chernobyl has for us. Look at this beautiful day. It's nice and chill. It doesn't look that bad. What, Dude, I heard a bunch of flies. Oh, what happened here? On its way, the protagonist helps an injured stalker. Wait, is there a helicopter? While there, a military helicopter observes his every it, move. Yeah. What happened to you? Help me, brother. Take the med kit off the stiff. Nice. I can't reach it. The injured stalker, known as Tolik, okay, you know tells the marked one that his group was ambushed by bandits. Nimba was spared due to false promises of a cache and is taken hostage. The Mark One meets up with the squad leader, Petruja. After right going down, over their plans, they decide to attack the bandits at the car park to rescue Nimble. Men, Wolf here sent us some support along with the order to attack. Time to move on and be heroes. Let's be heroes! The Mark One expects an easy fight, but these bandits are smart. Let's see if they're that smart as they say they are. Come on, pop out! Oh! Damn! Oh crap! Oh. 
Oh my god. Pretty good. Oh, he's over here. Just got one. They try to flank the squad, but the squad is well prepared and starts to overwhelm the bandits. Watch out, this guy over here. Oh, there's one over there. Come on, there's one over there, guys. Get him. Oh, there's two. Oh, crap. Good. I think that's all of them. Hey, I'm here to get you. After taking out the bandits, the Mark 1 finds Nimble. Nimble explains that thanks to the story of his hidden cache, the bandit spared his life. Nimble gives the marked one the flash drive with the information, as well as information of a special suit and the cash that the marked one can retrieve for some extra money. After looting the bodies in the different areas, the marked one returns to Sidrovich to turn in the flash drive. Sidrovich gives the marked one more information regarding the Strelak. But Strelak, there's a stalker that goes by this name. They say he's found a path to the northern reaches of the zone. That is a virgin area, a real gold mine for artifacts. Yeah. Anyway, I can help you find him. However, as you can imagine, it won't be a free ride. You'll have to work it off. Sitrovic is interested in opening a path to the north, to the center of the zone. He mentions a briefcase located at the Agropalm Research Institute that is of high value, and it may have something to do with the center of the zone. Sidrovich asks the Mark 1 to retrieve it and to take it to the barman at 100 Rad's Bar. He recommends the Mark 1 to buy vodka and anti-radiation medicine due to the high radiation towards the Institute. The Mark 1 decides to help the stalkers around the outpost to make some money, as well as find valuable loot for his mission. While walking to find a suit for Nimble, he gets to see the anomalies, known as springboards, attacking the animals who get too close to it. The Mark 1 knows that he must evade these places like the plague. Better weapons and everything else. Oh my god. Are they fighting against each other? Oh, what the hell happened there? Oh, oh my god, this place going crazy. Dude, is it, is, it, is it those weird things that are just like killing everything? Killing everyone? Dude, what the hell is going on here? This place is crazy. Oh my god, there's one here also. I'm not going close to that thing. Screw you, you stupid forest thing. I'm not falling for you. See, you hear me? I'm not falling for you. Oh, what the hell? Oh, God. Stupid dog. Dude, everything here wants to kill me. The Mark 1 gets close to the suit, avoiding the animals as much as he can until it is no longer avoidable. Dude, there's 20 beasts here. I don't like this at all. Do I have to go through that way? Get away from me. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, where is he going? Oh, oh I did load. Oh my god, I got a bit! Where is it? Stupid beast dog, whatever you are. Or is this like a different zone? He finally picks up the suit and goes to Nimble to collect his reward. Where is the suit? Okay, let's go. Well, that was simple. That was actually easier than I thought it was. Screw you, dog. Dude, what is that thing over there? That's super huge. What the hell is that? I don't like the thing. Stay away from me. Don't you even think about it. Don't you think about it. I got a shotgun. Stay away. Okay, good. Oh, what? Oh, God. Yes, you like that, don't you? Like some bullets in your face. Okay, Nimble, give me my money and my prize. Wake up. Wake up. Hey. There you go. I got stone flower and I have no idea what else it is. We learned about the zone. A second human disaster has caused another big accident in Chernobyl, causing high radiation, the area's abandonment, and death. The military enclosed the zone due to the danger presented. The place is now littered with weird energetic anomalies and mutated animals. But this disaster also brought special artifacts which have high value, attracting people who have illegally entered the zone to find these artifacts and get loot to get rich. These are known as stalkers. The place has also attracted various factions like the bandits and the zone has become a dangerous place. The Mark 1 decides to go and hunt some mutants that are in a special area. 
While there, he encounters another anomaly, the Electro. Realizing the tunnel is the path towards the Agropalm Research Institute, his curiosity gets the best of him. Okay. Disappear, you stupid thing. Disappear. Okay, good. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck! God damn it. Not wanting to play with fate so early, the Markma goes back to hunting the mutants to clear the area. Oh, thank God. He goes back to Sidrovich for the reward. And with the money from the errands, buy some extra anti rat Yes, we got some more money. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got. That's my boy. You've made my day. Well, good hunting, stalker. The Markman yeah, decides that? to go and take out a sales representative who has been falsely using Sidrovich's name. On the way, he notices a bandit on the roof of the car park. Oh, did the bad guys take over this place again? What's he doing there? Realizing the danger for his fellow stalkers, the Mark One decides to do a surprise attack. There used to be a several. Of you. How did this guy get here? Good, perfect. Dude, how did he get there? What the hell? The surprise attack is a success and gives the marked one a new and powerful weapon. How did he do that, man? Give me all your stuff. I saw. Ooh, look at this. What is this? Yeah. You got a new weapon. Excellent. What is this? An AKM? Amazing. Thank you. You're so nice. Excellent. After leaving the car park, the marked one finds another bandit outside. Oh, is that bad guy? Most likely waiting for the rooftop bandit's initial attack. The Mark One decides to engage, but the bandit is packing oh, a bad. shotgun. You're coming with me too. Are you gonna shoot me? They're gonna shoot me. Right. Oh shit! Okay, this is not good. Near a tree. Near a tree. The bandit realizes the type of firepower that the Mark One has and tries to close the space. Oh, perfect. That's what you get. That's what you get. Where's that shotgun? Get that shotgun. Give me all your stuff. Exactly. Back on the main road, the Mark 1 comes upon a broken bridge. Oh, the hell is this? Do I have to go through there? He notices men with oh, heavy equipment brutal. and powerful weapons that look yeah. more dangerous than any other bandit. As the Mark 1 gets closer, things one. turn for the worse. Is so there only one or is there more than one? This guy is not friendly, right? Yeah, he's not friendly at all. Okay, looks like we have to take him out. Oh, yes, we have to take him out. 